I move to Junaid Ahmed Sahib, President and, uh, of DIB Islamic, Dubai Islamic Bank. Uh, sir, uh, Samar Sahib also talk about some target that we missed uh, in, the, in the asset side. So, I would like to uh, ask you, as part of the industry vision, how to take Islamic finance forward for different market segments and what special areas Islamic banks need to focus and also as a global brand, what you, uh, what you see about this question of converting external, you know, debt to Islamic. So, your quick comments, sir, please. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Ahmed. You've asked actually three questions in one row. <laughs> so, I'll go one by one. Uh, first of all, Samar Sahib is right that we have not been able to achieve what is the desired goal for Islamic banking financing. So, instead of, before we go to the new segment, market segment which you are talking about, if you look at the table on which we are having a lot of things at the moment, uh, the most important uh, segment is the real estate financing. The real estate financing, I was in Lahore and I met an old, old colleague who's now retired and he said that, you know, he is constructing house uh, for charity purposes and uh, there's a huge queue of people, you know, who comes uh, <coughs> for help. It costs about two million rupees with land to construct a two-room house, which is ground floor and first floor. So, there is a large segment of population in Pakistan whose earnings are less than 40,000 rupees. Maximum wages, we have done 25,000, but they make little money here and there. So, those people can't afford house. So, if we can create uh, uh, a product wherein we give them 15 to 20 years of financing because they are paying rent for the houses where they're living now and the rent, average rent is about 10 to 12,000. So, easily they can carve out 120,000 rupees per year to pay the installments. And if that happens, so see our uh, real estate to GDP ratio is less than 1% and that is what we are talking about all the time in the state bank and other forum. So this is an area which helps almost about 35 to 40 industries to grow and at the same time we are helping the community who cannot afford house. So this is on the plate, this is on the table, this is something not new which we have to discover. On the new side, IT, I mean, if you look at our neighbor, India is now targeting 150 billion dollars of export in IT. They have already achieved 100 billion dollars. We have started moving towards that, but our share is at the moment two to three and a half billion dollars. There, we need a risk aversiveness from banking industry because these are uh, new ventures, these are venture capital. So we, you know, we have to have a certain relaxation from our side in the credit and also some support from the State Bank of Pakistan, some relaxation on potential regulation. So based on that, we can structure product under which we can finance those people who are into the, this industry. Uh, number three, uh, reaching more women. As uh, DG Seema Kamal also said, that around 80% of the females uh, in Pakistan are, are, are not, not part of banking. They're not unbankable. So what products, you see, if you look at the example of Grameen Bank in Bangladesh, if in their model, there are 90 percent people who have taken finance from Grameen banks, they are female. They are women, women. They were women entrepreneurs, they did some business and you know. So that kind of a model, that something has to be generated and of course, we have to have some support. Obviously, we can't do it without the state bank. So these three areas, if you can do it, we have talked about SMEs, we have talked about Agri, agri we have talked about all other areas. But three, these three segments, if you can focus on the new area, then basically, we, I think we should be able to achieve what we are targeting for, number one. Your second question was on the uh, market segments or what was? So this was segment? the same, yeah. Same. On the global brand challenge, yes. Uh, by the way, let me tell you that, you know, we are the first bank who have done two projects, which I think we feel proud of, and I, I'm sure that State Bank will also appreciate that we have done the first off-plan financing, which signed the contract, uh, MOU. In fact, the agreement we have signed with a developer and it was done last week where Salimullah Saab from State Bank of Pakistan and Imran Bhai, he was he's sitting here, they were also there. So that is the product we have launched and on the national saving scheme, we have come up with a Sharia compliant uh, solution which will be triggered off any day now. So under which after one to five years of deposits, 
can be now is invested by people who are sharia, uh, on sharia compliant basis so islamic mode of uh, uh, instrument for deposit and this is going to go on because a uh, nash there's a behbood after that so we are working on that so that solution two solutions that we have provided very recently on the external side <coughs> You know, the, if you are talking about our current debt, it is about 128 to 130 billion dollars. There is a big challenge, big challenge to convert those into Islamic because now the court judgment has come and everything. But there is a product of commodity Muraba. We can do it through LME, we can do it through DMCC. So there are exchange companies on which asset light uh, product can be you know, used for converting part of them because obviously there is a challenge from the external council and then there are banks who are not Islamic banks, conventional banks, international banks for them to come up in the curve with the documentation challenges that we have. But we, there is a possibility that we can Great. convert part of them but going forward whatever new instruments that are coming it should be Islamic then. then you can do sukuk and the sukuk you don't necessarily have to have as Irfan Sahib the GT road we can have an asset light sukuk there's lots of receivables in the energy sector we have got lots of funds which is in the air somewhere which can be structured used for structuring an asset light sukuk if you can do that then basically going forward any new instrument that you come up with it should be a Sharia compliant Great. instrument Thank right. you uh, and I think from your point, uh, the low cost housing coming up as a very uh, focused sector for Islamic Bank, IT, women inclusion and then there is a hope to convert external finance.